hear me out okay i'm not trying to be a hater i'm not trying to be somebody that is bad belly i just want to talk with you guys on this particular topic because it has been bothering me okay What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Sweetie Baby here. Sweetie Mama. Sweetie Special. Sweetie Sprinkle. Sweetie Spicy. If you see my face for the first time, I film about the law. I film family vlogs. I film entertainment. Okay. I do funny videos from time to time. I cook. I'm just a family person, a mother, a wife, and all of that good stuff. And I talk about topics that are interesting to me that I think my followers would benefit from my subscribers. If you're interested in that kind of video, please keep on watching because you will be entertained. I guarantee you. Anyway, what are we talking about today? I'm talking about Kingdom Marriage marriages okay kingdom marriages recently a host of christians popular christians worship leaders um you know, people that claim they are worship leaders and all sorts of things have gotten married okay uh, or have gotten engaged and it has caused different reactions on social media okay it was first vicky james then um moses bliss and then theophilus theophilus london even before then messi chimo all these different people got married and i noticed a current theme or a concurrent theme or recurring rather recurring thing in the comment section of all these videos when i saw popular videos and it's like oh i will marry right kingdom marriages are winning kingdom marriages in 2024 this is the kind of marriage that we are looking for. Oh, finally, kingdom marriage. And it got me thinking, <laughs> those of you that are married, is your marriage not kingdom marriage? Did you marry devil? Okay. Did you marry someone that you hate or you do not like? Because I feel that the way, and this, this hear me out, too, the way I saw or the way I interpreted a lot of these comments was, was almost like there was a dissatisfaction in their current lives or the hope that, okay, they would eventually marry somebody like they were seen in these videos okay oh the girl's dress is modest oh she didn't show any cleavage she didn't do any this she didn't do any that now i understand inspiration i understand like role models i understand thinking like oh this is the kind of thing you would want to see in your own wedding you don't want anybody to expose themselves you don't want any secular music you want only like concerts and christian music and things like that i understand that but my first question to you is what is kingdom what is kingdom marriage okay why are we looking to only these people as examples of the kind of marriage that you want to have? My, my thoughts and my concerns are the fact that sometimes as Christians, we, we create Christianese language, okay, that kind of excludes other people. If you are not obviously holy, if you are not obviously team natural, if you are not overwhelmingly meek and humble and you don't talk too much, all of a sudden, uh, you are not kingdom. But that is contrary to what I personally believe. My husband and I are in a kingdom marriage. We go to church, we are Christians, we pray together, we do all of these things. But are we talking about it the way other people are talking about it? No. Does that mean that I am not in a kingdom marriage? Question mark. The question mark. Two. Does it mean that because everybody shows that they are holy, they are ministers of the gospel, they are pastors, they are whatever, that they are actually good people? Is the criteria for marrying a spouse the fact that they obviously in the public claim to be christians let me ask again what is the criteria for calling somebody a kingdom partner a kingdom spouse or saying that your marriage is a kingdom marriage because as far as i'm concerned a lot of people who do great harm to the body of christ are pastors are ministers are people in the public eye as obviously overwhelmingly christian a lot of the time we know that we know this we have heard stories of pastors who have committed adultery pastors who have raped pastors who have stolen pastors who have um, committed the other day there was this pastor i did a video about it pastors who endangered and molested their teenage um teenage followers that were con it was basically like slavery sex or prostitution slavery we even have the case of the popular osinachi who was married to a supposed you know man of god but was undergoing <laughs> we know the story and we know how it ended allegedly but that's how it ended so my question now again is how do you categorize who is kingdom and who is not kingdom and why do we fall over ourselves so much because we think that what we see is the reality because somebody is wearing dress that does not have any design okay the dress is plain is simple is whatever oh my god she's so simple oh my god she's so this i'm not knocking the people involved please this is not a bashful um, video i'm just saying let us talk about it does that mean the person is who you think they are and i think this is where we jam problems in christianity this is where we enter into situation in christianity we we are so easily deceived we are so easily you know 
it's like mouth watering it's like you know when you smell delicious food all you can think about is the food you're not saying that oh this thing might be harmful to your body in the long run okay so we have discussed this we have said what exactly is the criteria for choosing a kingdom spouse then the next question i ask the you that you are married or you are dating someone does it mean that the person you're married is not kingdom does it mean god does not love the person does it mean that your marriage will not work or your marriage will not last there's a way um, marriage counseling and thought processes and religious dogma and stuff can affect the marriage okay there's a way that you would initially see your spouse as the love of your life but by the time you go through this doctrine this teaching in church you will start to see question mark red flag this and this and that it's good in a way if that's actually who the person is but sometimes especially when the person is from a di different denomination or a different pedigree or a different kind of way of life. Let's say an Anglican marrying a Pentecostal person. By the time you go to Pentecostal um, marriage counseling, you start looking at your partner sideways. Like, is this person really kingdom? Is this person really my spouse? Even though you have heard from God. Because religious doctrines differ. Religious religious way of lives differ. Christian, Christian, Sele and the Salvation Ministries and Catholic and Anglican, they are all different things, okay? So when you now try to bring people together, you will find that all of a sudden, your spouse that you thought was the love of your life, that you heard from God saying, this is your husband, but now all of a sudden start looking like the devil. It has happened to me. It happened to me. It happened to me. Like when my husband proposed to me and I started going to church more, I started getting involved. Because my husband, I met him as a tongue speaking, you know, praying, kabashing, youth pastor, youth minister, um, all of that. So I was intimidated and I felt like, okay, I need to match up. And at the same time, the Holy Spirit was working on me. I started going to church, I started going frequently, I started talking about it. And this husband that I knew was my husband from even before he asked me to be his wife. All of a sudden, I started second guessing because I was like, oh, he doesn't fit this description they are giving. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. He does not pray like this. He does not do like this. He doesn't sing like this. He doesn't fast like this. He doesn't do this. All of a sudden, I started questioning who I already knew my husband to be, who I knew God had called me because I was comparing him with a, a set of doctrines that do not belong to him or to his sect of Christian. I don't know if that makes any sense. It took my brother, my younger brother, to say, come, you stop this. He actually stopped me. And thank God he was there when all these things were happening because I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I love him. I already said yes. I did this, I did that. But now it's like I'm going to break up my engagement. I don't think I ever told him this actually. My, husband, my brother was like, wait, 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 wait. This is a new church. This is not the way you have been before calm down and take a deep breath and look at this thing holistically go back and pray for yourself and confirm before you throw away a good man because you think the church that he attends or the way he prays and the way he speaks and the way he does not do this the way that does not match up kingdom so now the question is kingdom is it relative to a different um, denomination is it relative to a different religion is it relative to a different way of life or the way a different understanding of Christ and the kingdom and all of that what is actually kingdom the reason why I'm doing this video is because like I said I saw a lot of the comments oh I will marry right I will marry once oh finally kingdom marriages kingdom is winning kingdom is this kingdom and I was just like why are we so excited about two people coming together and getting married don't get me wrong like i said i'm not hating on them and i'm i'm not not excited for them but the level of projection and excitement and quote unquote delusion worried me it truly troubled me because i'm like i don't think this is what god is expecting of us i don't think this is a healthy way of looking at marriage and looking at relationships i don't think this is right because it's almost like we are being modeled into one category it's almost like we are be being lumped up together and there's no room for different differences no room for originality no room for your idiosyncrasies and it feels like it's a lot of judgment okay as a christian i know that okay we're supposed to dress modest you're supposed to you know represent christ be holy and all of that i'm a christian woman true and true okay but the way we judge and condemn and Put one above the other also shows that our hearts might not even be in the right place it's almost as if it's superficial vicky james oh her wedding paid for by her husband Habib by herself oh she married him he did not marry her oh why did she create so much content oh her dress is not fine oh look at this person unlike vicky james she did not put corsets in her dress
she's looking so beautiful oh look at this one look at that one it's almost as if it's coming from a place of comparison and judgment not the inner not the inner beauty not the inner most thing the heart what god is actually looking at it's almost like we are just saying oh just package and present yourself as some kind of christian some kind of holy or holier than thou maria maka kind of person in natural hair don't wear wig don't do makeup don't do this and the hair finally oh we have had a christian marriage finally oh we have seen kingdom and that is what affected theophilus sunday a powerful minister of God, this man, when you think like this, you know that almost there are some realms in the spirit that you have not yet entered. Okay, you are just learning work, you are just starting. <laughs> when you listen to some of the songs he sings, you're like, I've not even reached there with God. But guess what? Guess what? When he uh, brought out his premarital wedding picture, beautiful bride, beautiful woman, I was like, ah, fine, babe. I loved her outfit, her white with her spaghetti strap and cold shoulder. Oh, my, you foresee the comment. You were like, ah, how can a man of God, her dress is too tight. Oh, it's like this. Oh, it's like that. And then, is that. Is that what God is actually asking us to look at? Is that your standard of judgment, whether she's fine or she's not fine? Do you expect, do you think that? Because you are a Christian, you cannot marry a woman that is beautiful. Please, in all the, the whole of the Bible, eh? Show me a woman that God highlighted. I don't know if it's just me, that was not beautiful. That did not adorn herself. Even the Proverbs 31 woman said she was rich, she was thinking rich. Okay, business woman, Proverbs 31 woman that we're all talking about. But there's a way we have understood Christianity and meekness and humility and holiness to be ugly to be inside to be i don't know how to explain it to be plain but that, that, i don't believe that for me oh i don't believe that's the standard of christianity so a man that you have been listening to a man that you have called the man of god the man that you have you know you have followed his ministry you're like oh wow i love his worship music i love this and this all of his songs and because he showed us his life in fact the fact that he was even getting married said or he's getting married was a problem for a lot of people oh i thought he said it's only him and god i thought he said this see these people are not your standard okay come closer let me talk to you clearly these people are not your standard let us as christians stop worshiping men of god pastors priests worship ministers different there's a video of one girl that went to go and kneel down because uh, moses bliss came and let's not even go into that topic let us stop idolizing people they are not the standard christ is the standard and your spirit man the holy spirit spirit witnessing you is, is the standard so when you are choosing a spouse okay choose a spouse based off of that standard based off of your revelation of who your partner is and should be based off of the list that you even have for yourself if you are a jaya jaya person you like going out you like going for drinks going for picnics going out and because you want to do kingdom marriage you marry a man that is a pastor that is in church 24 7 your marriage will not last let me break it to you even if it's going to last, it's going to be an unhappy marriage because you are looking at a standard of vanity, of perfectionism, or what is outside. What would people say? What would it look like? And Mrs. a pastor's wife. Meanwhile, you are not called to be a pastor's wife. All of a sudden, you are a pastor. They are not giving you responsibility. You are talking to teenage children. You are talking to children. And children from, in fact, from Wednesday to Sunday, you are in church. Meanwhile, your life is not like that. The resentment that will build will ruin that kingdom, so post-kingdom marriage. So this video literally is just me sharing my thoughts on this topic and trying to advise all of us, okay, celebrities, uh, Christians, Muslims, uh, anybody that has a public image, okay, anybody that has a public image or a public, I know, um, presence or whatever has influence over us, generally speaking. That's what they're influenced, that's why they're celebrities, that's why they're people that we follow. But they are not the standard for anything. They should not be your role models, okay? You don't know what's happening behind closed doors. There are pastors that are pastors of mega, multi-mega, multi-million, billion churches, but the things that they do behind closed doors, the God that they actually worship, the things that they say, you will not believe, okay? You will not even, it will not make sense to you, okay? These people that are getting married left, right, and center, you don't know the transaction they've had. Sometimes it might be for publicity, it might be to help their ministry, it might be to sell records. You don't know, but you are condemning your own relationship, your own partner that God has even said this is your own because he's not doing like this. Oh, he did not wear suits like this. Oh, Moses, this is like this. The Ophelos Sunday is like this. Atania Basi calls her wife, Sarah Nata, and this all sorts of the way we, the way we, the way we idolize these people. Let's be careful. Let's be guided.
I'm talking from experience, I'm talking from observation, I'm talking from understanding and revelation. I'm not just, you know, saying things just because of saying sake. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want us to talk about this in the comment section. Let us actually relate. What is kingdom married? Who is kingdom? How do you get there? I mean, you know, explain to me, please. Let's understand ourselves. And I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. Bye.